Where it's like, yeah, Ryu's a super, super good character because of it. Um, but in reality, it's, um, you know, it suffers similar problems to Street Fighter, to where it's not perfectly, um, you know, it's not a perfect move. It has the lag time, you can punish it, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, of course, it's still unbelievably good, but it, the character has its downsides. The, the big, I mean, the biggest thing about it is um, Ryu kind of has to approach to uh, implement the gameplay he wants to. He's not going to really build up super high percent. You're not going to see a Ryu a lot of times get someone up to like a, a 180 percent kill. He he wants the stray hits. His combo game's really good. And I, I think if anything's too strong, it's the fact that so much hit confirms into the upbeat. Right. Right. Um, the upbeat itself isn't the problem because it is punishable. Except for on uh, a stage like Battlefield, it becomes less punishable. Yeah. Um, but it is. You, you can't just run up and upbeat. It's not like a, a chic forward air, but it does that right there. Right, and, right. And, and that, that was a super percent. guaranteed kill. You know, there's no possible way to visually react to the up tilts. And up tilts are great for punishing things that they're safe on shield when they're behind like that. All sorts of stuff. So, uh, I mean, really, it is... Just an incredibly good move. That plus his down tilt and his jab. They're all so fast and they all are hit confirms. Oh my gosh, that was wow. really quick to stock there from Lee. Um, I think Ryu is a solid character. I think he has weaknesses and I think his strengths uh, strongly beat out his weaknesses. It's right, kind, of, it's right. kind of how it works. And, uh, the the sure you can is definitely good. It has the invulnerability on it. Very strong. Right. For those of you who don't know, uh, True Shoryuken has, um, just like Street Fighter, has invulnerability on startup, and um, and, and I think at least some of the rise, um, and then it ends before he, like as he falls, I believe, and yes. so then you can hit him once he starts falling. Yeah, it's 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 very it's very good, and he's um, if you can do uh, technical inputs, not even like play the character super technically, but just some technical inputs. He becomes a, a very good character. Right, uh, right. Just because of that. And if you're yeah. able to do the different light presses and things like that, shoot the different speed Hadoukens, all that sort of stuff, it suddenly yeah. becomes an um, incredibly powerful, incredibly fun character. Now that was a risky down B there. I think we've seen a couple of those, but no punish. Oh, nice auto cancel. He was whipping those earlier. So why, um, oh, good, good focus attack. There's a turnaround there. Uh, why do you think Stinger's uh, one change of cloud two took him to, uh, to town and city? So, the first, with the change to Cloud, he's uh, he's practicing ZSS, but of course he really wants to win the tournament. So when he yeah. plays the ZSS and he finds out, okay, it doesn't, this isn't really working out, he's going to beat me, then he switches to a character that he knows better, in this situation, Cloud. Um, with the Town and City pick, it, you know, obviously, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, nice yeah. Leaf wouldn't let him go to the stages that he wanted to go, but overall, this is a pretty good one. You can see he has room to run around. He enjoys the platforms more, and overall, the early kills off the top are going to benefit him more because one way or another, Leaf gets the early kills, but if he can get early kills off of up air, that's way better. Yes. Um, do you think the, uh, the up tilt string into, I don't know what it was, I don't know if it was a forward smash or what it was, was it miss input, or do you think it was? I didn't quite pay attention to it while I was explaining, but there is the first stock taken from Stingers. He's got a slight lead, which is very, very nice for Cloud. Okay. I mean, he's, he's hitting those auto, can auto cancels very well now. He is definitely, yeah. I feel like focus attack is, is pretty. It's pretty strong against Cloud because Cloud is, notably has very good knockback, and he doesn't have moves that he can do in quick succession to knock someone out of a focus attack. Right, uh, and his grab is overall fairly short range. So yeah, it is a bit dangerous, but you see there, you can get the auto cancels into jabs, or right there, the nair into up tilt. So there are ways out of it, but yeah, you're right, he has less than a lot of other characters do. Oh, oh the F smash! Forward wow. smash also has it, and another thing you could do is uh, shoot a, a limit break neutral break B into it. Right, also that's one of the best ways to get rid of it, yeah. yeah. So, game, that quick game too, I mean, these characters don't have a problem killing, that's for sure. And um, so, that was... One for Stingers, and so I, mean, I think Ian's going to stay Ryu. I think Ian is now a Ryu player. Right, um, I would imagine so. And so I don't see Stingers changing back with that success. Um, yeah, right. I, I think that's. I think Paul may be the character he's most comfortable with now. I think in the moment, yes. Oh, looks like Ian. Oh, Ian's going to Cat Falcon. Now he has also been practicing his Cat Falcon. But uh, so far, I don't think I've seen anything good from it. I've heard good thi good things, but um, I haven't seen it. So hopefully we'll see it here. Hopefully this isn't just a kind of desperation pick. Oh, we see the desperation down there in the beginning. That's a little bit uh, scary for me. 
the, the auto cancel down air into up tilts. Uh, Stinger just does a, a very good job. Stinger's just kind of on the opposite end. I mean, he, he's still a smart player, do not get me wrong, but he, he's very technical. Wow. Ian with the air dodge reads, but just misspaced it a little bit. Ian is using Captain Falcon just to try and go for the, the, the early gimps. That's what he wants. He wants to abuse uh, uh, Cloud's recovery. Um, just kind of make it so that the double jump isn't isn't a factor. Make right. it so he only has to rely on his up B. And wow. <laughs> <laughs> the scream in the background, that was the best part of that knee. Oh, man. A uh, pretty even game overall. Yeah. Uh, the, the really unfortunate thing here is that... Uh, oh, That's the really wow. Thing here. That's the second unfortunate thing. What I was going to say is for on, on Ian's side, see, both both matchups, he has to approach clouds. You know, he has to get past yeah. the sword and all that sort of stuff. He can't let him charge limit, blah, 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 blah. But in this one, he really has a lot less powerful tools to um, beat him up when he does get in. It looks like he's really making work of what he does have and the extra speed that he's getting. Again, it, it's not a technical falcon. It is literally just base falcon. Based Falcon, man. No. <laughs> Base. <laughs> Alright, Stinger's going for... Um, I believe he was trying to go for a back air there, but couldn't quite get it out. Ian being a little bit obvious with his edge guard attempts. Oh, wow. If that, were, if that was the Nair, that could have potentially led into a... Uh, finishing touch? Into a finishing touch. Yeah, there is a combo that goes... What, uh, what, what would have killed Falcon at that percent? Yes, because it would have been up tilt, up tilt, Nair... Uh, and then landing up air into finishing touch, all of which would have uh, put Falcon at about 50. Okay, that's fair. No bad jokes. Okay. Right, right. No, no bad, no fair jokes. Oh wow, the sliding footstool. All right. Oh wow, Ian getting that landing air dodge. Oh. That Stinger's using that limit to recover. Nice down air. I'm not sure how I feel about these neutral bees that he's throwing out. You know, none of them are particular. Oh, oh the wow. Falcon kick to finish that stock. Jeez. These are some very interesting games. They the are. The first one was very strongly in Ian's favor. The, the next one was just kind of dominated by Stingers, and then that one was just very close and ended with a Falcon kick kill. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, interesting way to end it. I mean, both of these are, are two of our top level players for sure. Uh, very strong, very, very solid. Uh, it's just, I mean, this is good smash there. They're obviously very smart. And so, uh, Stinger's made the switch back to Zero Suit. Apparently, they're, they're happy with sticking with, uh, with Pound City. Yeah, it seems like it. I'm, uh, I'm not sure entirely what the thought process is, but I kind of like this change back to Zero Suit. She does have a, a solid Kent Falcon matchup. Uh, and I feel like that, I feel like that should have been a grab there instead of dash attack. Yeah. Oh, nice F tilt. So, um, ZS's uh, de uh, forward tilt is like a lot of other characters' down tilts. You know, a lot of characters have those quick down tilts that help them uh, kind of achieve safe, you know, safeness on shield and a little bit of damage, those sorts of things. But that's really what ZS ZSS's uh, forward tilt does. Yeah. That, that Zayer is really good. I, I think Stingers may use it a little bit too much, but it is, it is a very strong move. Wow, he keeps yeah. getting those raw up Bs, man. Yeah. It, yeah, I hardly ever see him actually like combo into it. Uh, even when we were playing earlier today, it was, it was mostly just the raw ones. Right, right. Nice recovery. Oh, gets the first up air, but unfortunately, nothing afterwards. Ian, Ian fishing for the uh, the stylish stuff. I mean, the, the knee, the, uh, the the down airs a lot, um, and, and he hits them with a surprisingly high success rate. Right, I right. Think that's that's the crazy part about it, but it, it's still probably not best to fish that way. <laughs> oh man, ZS, or Zero Suit Samus' recovery is just, it's so incredibly good, you know, with the tether and with the uh, intangible down B. Alright, see, we're seeing it right there. Oh wow, that was a little bit scary, but gets back safely. It, it, there's just so many options. It's, it's a mix up in and of itself. I think Ian was going to try and footstool Stingers there. I think that was that was the thought process, was the, uh, the slide off grab and a footstool and then down air, <laughs> which would have been stylish. Would have been, but didn't quite work out. Nice back air into F tilt. You're seeing those really safe moves come out one after another. Zero Suit Samus having a great on shield game. Yes, that, that neutral air is so safe. Um, neutral air, back air, and up air. Yeah, oh, oh. that's right. I forgot about. I didn't know up air. I knew back air. Yeah, up air. Unfortunately, you have to be so close that a lot of times it's not safe. But if yeah. you can land it uh, behind them, cross them up, that sort of stuff, then it's just as safe. Yeah, back air is back air and forward air. 
or not buried, neutral <laughs> air, are some of the, the most safe moves in, moves in the game. Right. And, uh, Ian, or at least finally able to close out that stock, gets the uh, the up air there to finish it off. Uh, Zerus whipping a grab there. Uh, actually didn't get as much uh, percentage in the second stock as uh, I would have expected there. Uh, yeah, he did have quite a big lead for a little while. Oh, wow, that should have been another up air. I believe he could have linked it to an up B. Yeah, I, I think so, too. But I, I, I don't think uh, Stingers is as comfortable with this character as, as he would want to be, and especially right. against a, a matchup uh, like Captain Falcon played by Ian. Right, right. Which is just a lot of punishes. Now, we saw... Um, uh, Stingers get hit out of his up B just a little bit earlier. Now he's gone back on and all that, so all this is gone. But if you see that happen again, remember that the up B, wow. It gets the yeah. uh, up B again. Getting hit out of the up B has a RCO lag, which uh, ultimately what it is, is basically if you hit ZSS during your up B, the next time that she lands, if she doesn't, I believe, hit you with an aerial, or maybe it's just throw out an aerial in general, I can't quite remember the rules of it, then she receives unbelievable landing lag. I think she has to hit you with it, but she'll receive unbelievable landing lag if you hit her out of her up B, uh, out of the special fall. And then when she touches the ground, you can hit her with basically any move in the game. You know, Donkey Kong can F smash her. Yeah, it's... Rome, Melee, Marth, I think, both have it, too. Uh, on their up Bs. You would know better than about that. About what, sorry? Well, is it Melee and Rome Marth that both have RCO lag? Uh... Uh, whew, I actually don't know about Melee Marth. I know uh, Brawl Marth has the RCL lag and it's really, really hard. But RCL lag is also what much worse in Brawl. The mechanics are less favorable. Mm -hmm. All right, but we're seeing uh, the Return to Ryu and Battlefield. This is kind of the dream for both characters, mostly for uh, Zero Suit, though. Uh, as we saw in the game of um, Nairo vs. Trilla at Smash the Record, they did this, uh, this stage a couple times. And... Um, Nairo was able to get off some pretty crazy stuff. So overall, I'm pretty sure that, it, and according to Trella, it's overall better for um, Nairo. So how does the um, how do how does save for Ryukens work? Is it just the, uh, the the middle platforms there? Is it the top? Platform? How does what work? Sorry, someone screamed. The the, the safe uh, the safe Shoryuken. Sure you can. So basically, sure you can has no landing leg. It has normal landing leg. So when you sure you can, uh, you sure you can buy one of those platforms and you land on it, and it's basically impossible to punish because you land so quickly by landing on one of the platforms. You yes. see? So you sure you can from the ground onto the platform. Uh, but see, it doesn't work on that middle platform, so that was just as unsafe as normal. That is that is correct. Uh, nice forward air return to the ground. And he's uh, he's staying in shield. He wants to punish. Uh, Punish Zero Suit uh, for hitting a shield, it's just it's not going to happen. He's right. going to throw out the neutral airs, the back airs, um, even the Zare. I, I don't think that's punishable if, if it's spaced correctly. And wow. gets the LB, really good go. reaction and good DI. Yeah. Oh, oh the there's the mistake way. Tatsu. Gets back though, he's okay, he's okay. Nice read. That was beautiful. He kind of landed on the platform there, which slowed him because he, he had to fall through it. Um, and no, I believe that was just the USA Samus' really, oh, really terrible short hop. Yeah. Oh, it looked Her like he landed on the platform. No. Nah. And then had to go through it. Yeah. Her, sh her, short, her short hop is one of the worst in the game. It's really, act it's, yeah, it's actually really terrible. Luckily, she has that incredibly fast fall speed and ball and aerials. It's super, super good aerials, so it doesn't really matter. Nice DI behind, making the combos a little harder. Is, how, how fast is uh, Zero Suit's fall speed? I don't know its exact ranking, but I can basically tell you that it's quite fast. Yes. Ian, or Lee's kind of running away with the stock. Uh, yeah, kind of, definitely. Kind of just taking it. Um, oh. No way. That tether is incredibly long range. But remember, if uh, if Stingers gets a grab right here in the right position, he can do the up air, up air, up air, up B combo and win the game. Oh yeah, I mean, there's, that's definitely happening. And the, the biggest problem is uh, all all Leaf needs is uh, at this point maybe even a back air on the edge will kill, but I'm sure you can definitely. Oh, uh, a back air will totally kill at this percentage. Uh, uh, so it's the forward airs that aren't going to kill. You're yeah. seeing these forward airs hit and they just sort of knock him up. Uh, oh wow! Up there. It ups, uh, wow! The and does finish that also. And that's the end of that the set. Is three two Leaf. Oh, that was very wow. impressive play uh, by both. Both I'm surprised that in game three.